Four rivers in central Maui could have more water restored after the Supreme Court agreed with community advocates that the state was not allowing enough through. Our Ali Dukalo reports from the Valley Isle. Water rights activists call the ruling historic and they believe it sets a positive precedent for the rest of the state. You know, being that there are numerous communities that are seeking to restore their streams, for kalo farmers wanting to restore their away, uh, this, this is a win for, for everybody. More water could soon be flowing into streams such as this one in Waikapu and throughout Nawaiiha, including Wailuku, Waiehu, and Waihee. That's because the Supreme Court sided with community groups and the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. They argued the State Water Commission did not fulfill a legal obligation to restore stream flows after sugarcane operations came to an end in central Maui. Waikapu Kalo farmer Hokua Pellegrino, who has been fighting for more water for decades, says the decision not only benefits him and other farmers, but the whole community. Being that more than 60% of all the water that's consumed on this island derives from the Vaiiha. Pellegrino is anxiously waiting to see stronger stream flow, especially in Waihe'e River, the largest waterway in Nawai'eha and the broader west Maui. Waihe'e was a breadbasket not just uh, on land but also in the sea and ensuring that water is not only flowing consistently uh, in that area but allowing for the native ecosystem to regenerate. We reached out to the states for comments and we're waiting to hear back. Aali Iduklo Island News.